Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com. I just returned from a trip, so I'm going to show you how I deal with receipts on the road. And to do that, I use an app called Expensify. So I'm just going to open it up here. What Expensify lets you do, lets you do a lot of things, but what I'm going to show you is how you can work with receipts and then create expense reports from those receipts. And so I have a, re a receipt for one of my dinners on my trip to Macworld. And what I could do is use this smart scan button here and take a picture of the receipt and go from there. But that's not actually what I do. I use a different app to actually capture the receipt. And the reason I do this is not because Expensify doesn't work well because it works it works really well, but because I like it, I like using an actual iOS scanning app, which lets me just cut out the receipt part and convert it to black and white and just make smaller, clearer images. So I'm going to close out of Expensify here, and I'm going to fire up a different app, one called Genius Scan. So I'm going to tap Genius Scan here, and I'm going to tap the camera button at the bottom. And I am going to capture this receipt. So I've got it in my camera. I'm taking a picture. And depending on the background, usually it detects the edges, but because I'm on a light background, it didn't do it, but that's okay. I just use my finger to define the edges of the receipt. Hit use. And you can see it's now it's made it black and white and, and a lot and nice and clear. And I'm going to hit the export button. And Ex Genius Scan has an option here on the left hand side to export to Expensify. So I'm going to hit that now. And you can choose the size of your image. I'm just going to make a large one. And we're still in Genius Scan now. If we want, we can enter in the merchant, the date, the amount, the currency, all that stuff right here in the Genius Scan app. And it will send that all to Expensify. But I don't do that because Expensify has a feature called Smart Scan where it'll figure all that out for you. So I'm just going to leave all this blank and I'm just going to hit send. And it takes a second and you can see it says successfully exported. So I'm going to close out of Genius Scan and go into Expensify again. And now when we tap expenses down here on the bottom left, we should see, here's our receipt here. Now, I, like I said, I could go in and fill this out, but what I tend to do is I capture this stuff while I'm on the road and I let Expensify smart scan technology figure everything out for me. You get free 10 smart scans a month and then after that, I think it's 20 cents or something like that, a receipt. So I'm just going to leave this for a little bit and let the smart scan do its thing. And then we'll come back and see how it did. OK, I'm back and I've hit refresh. And you can see now that there's a new receipt that's come in for Smooth Thai Restaurant, which if you were paying attention, is the restaurant that I was at. And it was even smart enough if you might remember that the amount of the receipt was actually 1408 and then I had a tip. So I had 1608 was the amount that I had written on the receipt and they picked up 1608. So when I tap into that, I can see an image of the of the receipt and I can set the currency, I can give it a little comment. There's a report field here where I can assign it to an expense report. So I'm going to tap that and I will choose the Macworld expense report. I can change the date if they didn't pick up the date correctly. And you can give it categories and tabs. These are the categories that I have. I'm going to say meals, but you can, you can define that in the expensify.com interface. And you can also, if you want to, you don't have to, you can give it tags, which lets you further categorize. Uh, the way that I kind of do it with my bookkeeper is I have the method of payment as a tag. And that way, when I, when I give her my report of all the expenses, 
it's all broken down by how I paid so she can match it up with the statements. So I'll just give it a MasterCard tag. And then I won't get into billable and reimbursable. I'm sure you can figure that out. And I'll hit save. And now if I go back and I go to reports, I've got my Macworld expense report here and I can either submit it through the app or even better log on to expensify.com and make a nice PDF expense report that I could either submit for payment or I can submit it online or I can just hand it off to an accountant or bookkeeper, which is what I do. That's a bit beyond the scope of this video, but for more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.